Natalie Owlet. You've been charged with three counts of first degree murder. Do you understand the weight of those charges? Listen, I just want to help you. But there's nothing I can do if you're just not willing to talk to me. You know you're not alone, Natalie. I've dealt with many cases similar to yours before. Not exactly the same, of course, but people, children, to be specific, who were scared of their own home for one reason or another. Did you feel safe at home? Stop calling me that. Then what would you prefer to be called? Clockwork. What inspired you to choose that name? It's what fucked my life over. Time. Is that what inspired you to do a that there with the clock. I think you should start from the beginning. Where this all began. How we got here. Tell me what happened. It's pathetic. She's 16 for God's sake. And she can't hold up. We need money. You and I both know it. We're working our asses off. And she's just out slacking at school and failing every goddamn class. Look, she's a child for God's sake. It isn't her job to support this damn family. Well, you sure as hell can't support it yourself. She's useless. Garbage for Christ's sake. And it's all because you plant this stupid idea in her head that she can get away with this shit. Oh my, jeez, look, I can't even listen to this anymore. I am done. Oh yeah, just walk away like you always do. Leave me to deal with the root of the problem. <laughs> Then what the hell are you doing? N nothing. Homework. <laughs> yeah, I don't see one book out of your bed. You're not doing homework. If I catch you lying to me one more time, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. You understand? <laughs> yes, sir. Did this type of thing happen often? My father was a good-for-nothing asshole. He deserved... He deserved everything that he got. What about your mother, though? She let it happen. She watched. She married that freak for fuck's sake. You can... You can continue. It was never gonna stop. The clock would keep ticking and time would keep torturing me. I used to believe that it would stop. I was stupid back then. Hope is such a funny concept, don't you think? I used to like drawing a lot. Really? What kind of things did you draw? <laughs> I was afraid you would ask that. I guess Dark art, mangled bodies, organs, blood, you name it, I drew it. Yeah. What's going on? I'm, uh, uh working on a project for some- Oh. Really? Yeah. Let me see it. I don't know if I believe you. Well, it's, it's not finished, so- what the hell is this? Jesus Christ. What the hell is that? It's just art, Dad. It's not that That's not material. art. That's demented, Natalie. Is that my hoodie? Yeah, what of, what of it? Who cares? You know I bought that in the women's department, right? What are you implying, Nat? Bitch! 
You're not gonna draw anything like that in this house again. Keep your art somewhere else. Your demented shit. That could get you put in a mental hospital. You hear me? Yes, sir. I know you do. These drawings, did they bring you joy? Joy. It, it seems like they caused you a lot of problems, like in school and with relationships. <laughs> and if they're that <laughs> troublesome in your life, then why keep drawing them? <laughs> Pictures, they, they can't breathe. I draw agony because it brings me out of the torment that is time. <laughs> I get jealous sometimes. And why is that? The people in my drawings are frozen in the exact moment that I capture them, whether suffering or not. Their time has simply come to an end. Do continue. After that night, I got upset. I felt alone again. A lot of girls hurt themselves when they feel that way. I'm not like them. Why would I carve meaningless gashes into my arms when I had the ability to create something beautiful?
you won't. I won't. You're different than them, Natalie. You're not like them. They don't... They don't understand. How did you feel after you did that to your face? I felt unsurmountable. And why did you feel that way? Well, for once in my life, I was doing something because I wanted to, uncaring of the consequences. And what were those consequences? <sighs> Mom thought I needed therapy. Shipped me off to some ignorant therapist. I assume that made you unhappy. What exactly happened between you and the therapist? Not much. I don't... I don't really remember, actually. But she... she didn't understand. Just like everyone else, that was clear as day. Especially considering what that bitch of a therapist did next. Did you two establish any plan for you moving forward for the future? Oh, it wasn't much of a plan on my end. You could say that she did all the thinking herself. I woke up unknowing of anything that she or my parents had conjured up for me.
she shouldn't be awake. Then we'll get you back to sleep. You don't want to be awake for this. You shouldn't even be awake right now, anyway. Stay calm. Ma'am. Just lay back for me, okay? Ma'am, can you just lay down for me for a moment, and we'll get you back to sleep. Ma'am. Ma'am, you need to stay down. Security! Security! Security, get in here! Our patient is out of her bed and threatening to hurt a uh, staff member. Oh my god, oh my god. I wonder what this does. Stop. Put that down. Now. We all have a certain amount of time before we stop existing. His had come to an end. Yeah, but do you believe that his time would have continued to go on if you hadn't interfered? <laughs> That's the funny thing about time. It has a plan for each and every single one of its victims. And what was that plan? What is your name? My... My name is completely irrelevant. Okay then, Sir Detective. What is your greatest fear? That's also irrelevant. But Natalie, we're gonna get Do back to the original address question. address me by that name. Natalie isn't here. She's dead. Okay then. I apologize. I guess my greatest fear would be... fire. Imagine you could become the very thing that you fear the most. Destroy everything that had ever destroyed you. I decided that man's fate when I ended his time. I became the very concept of time by destroying what little he had left of his sorry life. You speak of time as if it's something that can be manipulated. You need to realize that you cannot manipulate time. Ah, correct. But time is merely a mental concept. While time may end for one person, it could continue on without hesitation for another. If I am able to integrate into the timeline of somebody's existence and end it, then I could technically go on to become the puppeteer of their demise. See. When I found out that I could not control the way that very concept agonized me over and over and fucking over again, I became the one thing that I feared the most. Time. Now, wh what happened next? You murdered the man in the hospital. <laughs> and where did you go from there? I left to destroy the one thing that was still holding me back from my true self. My sad excuse of a family.
You're not even supposed to be home. You're supposed to be at that hospital getting help. You remember all those times that you beat me, Dad? Obviously, they did nothing to improve you. Remember all those times that I was alone, crying in my room? Did anybody stop to help me? No. No, you just sat there and watched like you always fucking do a bitch about every little thing. Why shouldn't I kill you? Now, just like Mommy. Thank you. 
how you ended up here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, what do you think's gonna happen now? Well, I guess you could say that my time is in your hands now, isn't it? What do you mean by that? If you wanted to kill me, you could. You could sentence me to death. Why aren't you afraid? Time never dies. I know that even if my time is to end, time will go on to torture people for all of eternity. If I die, I will die knowing what I've overcome. I'll die knowing that I've overcome what I feared the most. That in and of itself is enough to satisfy me. Okay then. So, how do you plead, Natalie? Oh, I'm very... I think we're just about done here. Wait! You do realize there's nothing else I can do for you. You're likely gonna spend the rest of your life locked up in a mental institution. <laughs>